Hi everyone, welcome to the third video in our series about Kedro. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the Kedro Space Flights tutorial, where we're gonna showcase how we can actually use Kedro in a real world project. In terms of the project we're gonna work on, we're gonna use a hypothetical scenario from the future related to space tourism. Our goal is to predict prices for trips to and back from the moon. In order to achieve this, we are provided data regarding each individual of space shuttle, customer reviews for the individual trips, and as well company information. Whenever we work on a Kedro project, we usually need to follow the following four phases. First, we set up the project template. Secondly, we set up the data for the project. Thirdly, we have to create a pipeline for the Kedro project. And the fourth step is packaging the entire project together. So during the first phase, during the setup, we have to create a new project, have to install all the dependencies needed for the project, and we also have to set up the configuration. During the second st stage, during the setup of the data, we have to add all the data needed to the data folder and also uh, use the data catalog to reference all the data sets for the project. During the third phase, during the creation of the pipeline, we have to first write in Python all the data transformation steps. Secondly, we have to use those steps in order to create the pipeline. And then we have to choose the way we want to run the entire pipeline, either sequentially or in parallel, on the subject of source control. You might be familiar with the fact that nowadays, most development teams and data science teams have started using tools such as Git in order to track changes to their code bases. When using Kedro, you are definitely encouraged to use Git to make your life easier whenever you're working with other people in your team. That being said, Kedro is not dependent on Git, so it's your choice whether you want to use it in your project or not. I mentioned earlier, the first out of the four phases of a Kedro workflow is the setup of the project. During this phase, we normally create the project itself, install the dependencies, and also configure the project. In this section, we're gonna showcase just that. Our first step is to create a new Kedro project. We're gonna use the command Kedro new. We're gonna name our project Kedro Tutorial. And we're gonna press enter to accept the defaults. Created our Kedro project. The next step would be to install the project dependencies. We do this using the Kedro install command. Why would we want to use Kedro install to manage our dependencies? Well, it's for two reasons. One of them being reusability, so that other people can work on the project and they have access to the same dependencies we use to run our code. At the same time, it's very useful for us to use the same project and the same dependencies on a new machine. Say if we want to set up our project on a new machine. The second reason we are interested in using Kedro install is because we also want to be able to avoid version conflicts so that each package we install will be installed with a specific version. You'll find all the packages that need to be installed and all of the versions in a src requirements.txt file. And this is how a normal requirements.txt file will look like. Note that for your installation of Kedro, these versions might appear different because you might be using a new version of Kedro. If you're also using Conda dependencies, you can create an src environment.yaml file. All that being said, let's use Kedro install. Say you need some specific packages for your project. With Kedro it's very easy, you can install the necessary packages with pip install and the name of the packages that you need, or you can also update the src requirements.txt file with the packages required. And then you can run Kedro build recs. And with this, you have an updated version of the list of dependencies for the project. We're gonna discuss later about further details regarding project dependencies. In any software project, credentials are quite important. We always have to be mindful of usernames and passwords for the various services that we use in our applications. Kedro makes it very easy to put all your credentials in the conf local credentials.yaml file. You can always go back to the advanced documentation on configuration whenever you need to read more about the various options you have within the configuration credentials, modify credential files. If you want to stay in touch and receive notification whenever I release new videos related to data science, machine learning, AI, please click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you want to get notifications as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon.